Hi, how are you? Hi, Roberto, can you listen to me? Yes, of course. Excellent, welcome. Giovanni, how are you? <clears throat> Hi, thank you. <laughs> Excellent, pretty good. Hi. Juan, thank you. how are you? Uh, hi, teacher. Uh, I am very well, thank you. And you, teacher. Excellent. I'm very happy to listen to you. Gerardo, you. how are you? <laughs> Gerardo, hello. Can you hear me? <coughs> mm, maybe Gerardo is having some problems with his microphone. But uh, you know what? I would like to tell you something. I am pretty happy to listen to you. I'm very happy to see you all. And well, this is your course. So let's start. Why don't we introduce to each other? Um, well, I would like to start by myself. So uh, I introduce you to myself. My name is Maggie Argot. Uh, I am a teacher. I like very much to teach. I think that teaching is my passion. I am Mexican. And um, what else could I say? Uh, well, I have been teaching English for a, lo for a long time. And I am pretty sure that English is a great tool, a very useful tool for having communication all around the world. Okay, so who's next? to introduce yourself. Uh, Giovanni, why don't you talk to us about yourself and tell us who you okay. are, what you do. Okay. Well, um, good evening, um, all of you. I am Giovanni. I'm from uh, Istmo de Tehuantepec. I live, uh, I live in a place uh, close to, to Oaxaca, capital named uh, Santa Cruz Jojocotlan. I'm a teacher. I like languages um, and I like very much uh, drawing and um, watching videos on YouTube. Hey, that's great, Giovanni. Thank you very much. Welcome to your class. Giovanni, please thank tell you, me, who's next? Uh, I think um, Juan. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You, uh, my name is uh, Juan Bravo. I am Ecuadorian. I live in Quito. I am a agriculture engineer. Uh, I hope one year because I need to retire, but I, I am. I am uh, Working for a long time in food uh, food security is uh, is my passion. Okay. Okay, excellent, Juan. Thank you very much. Welcome to your course. I am very happy to listen to you again. Thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> so, Juan, tell me who's next. Uh, Gerardo, please. Mm. Hi, everybody. My name is Gerardo Lomeli. Uh, I'm living right now in Ciudad, Ciudad Juarez, Chihuahua, but I, um, I was born in Durango. I'm married, I have two kids. I'm studying um, industrial engineering, and right now <laughs> I'm working. I just, uh, well, I'm, I'm, I'm really busy all week, but I I use this time, or I will use this time to to get into the classes. I love uh, football. Uh, my team is the Patriots, and I I'm very proud to <coughs> be in this uh, class conversation, and I hope we all. Uh, learn you will i am sure of that thank you very much giovanni all right so welcome also to this class this is going to be so interesting i promise 
with my hand on fire. Okay, so please tell me who's next. <laughs> Uh, Emma Santos. Thank you, Gerardo. Hi. Hi, Emma. Welcome. Hi. My name is Emma Santos. I'm chemist. I'm uh, 30, 40, 45. Um, where are you from, Emma? Um, I'm from Cuauhtlán, Iscali, Estado de México. Wow, excellent. Thank you very much. Welcome. Okay, Thanks. Emma, please tell me who's next. No lo entendí. Uh, uh, who is the next person? to participate. Who do you want to listen to? Uh, we are missing um, Giovanni and Roberto. Roberto? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Juan Bravo. Uh, well, Juan has already participated. But if you want to listen to Juan again, of course, it's okay. Mm, what do you think about listening to Giovanni? Me? <laughs> again? Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. So who's missing? Is Roberto missing? Uh, I think Roberto has, has not participated. Yeah, yes. thank you very much, Robert. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, no problem. Good night, everyone. Um, I'm Roberto Santos. Uh, I'm living in Jalisco, Mexico. Um, I'm a developer, software developer. So I work for IT. Um, I'm 35. Um, and, and I'm studying uh, my second degree. I'm studying logistics in the net. So that's it. I don't know if you want to know Excellent. something else. Um, <laughs> well, um, I think it's okay. But you know what? Today we are going to talk about something so interesting. Something that is so common. Anyway, uh, sometimes for us it is not so... Uh, it, it is not something that we consider very seriously sometimes, but anyway, it uh, sometimes um, is a pain in the neck whenever we have to, to work with. Um, so uh, here is coming Daisy Jimenez. Daisy, hello, how are you? Can you listen to us? Yes, yes I can. Fine, thank so, you. Uh, Daisy, could you introduce yourself to us? Tell us who you are, what you do, where are, where you are from? Uh, of course, uh, I'm Daisy Jimenez. Um, I am from Mexico City and I am environmental engineer and I work in a, in a mine, the mine industry. Wow. Hey, that is so interesting. You know what? Something that I like very much about these classes is that we, we can work with people from different majors. Some people who work with science, some of you who work with industry, some of you who work with administration management, and some of you who work with teaching, education, and you are from many different places, not only all along our beautiful Mexico, but also some people who is living in any other places. For example, Juan. Juan uh, is an Ecuadorian person, uh, and he oh. having classes with us. Mm, you know what? We have some students also who live in Guatemala, 
some others in Colombia. Oh. Uh, there are also some Chilean ones. Uh, there are American people and um, Swedish people. So it is so interesting. I think that it is not only the opportunity of learning English, but also we can learn from different cultures, different uses. I think it's beautiful. All right, welcome yeah. everyone. It is going to be so interesting today. You know what? Today we are going to work with a birthday gifts. Uh, so guess what? We are going to listen and see a video. So please pay attention and tell me if you listen to it, if you can see. Yes, can you? Yes, I can. Yeah. Excellent. Here we go. the worst holiday gift you've ever received? For me, it's pretty easy. Uh, my mom used to consider Hanukkah like a belated <laughs> belated back to school holiday. We would get binders, pens, staplers. Once my mom wrapped this huge mystery present for my sister that she thought was a dollhouse. Uh, it wasn't a dollhouse. It was a every year in the say anything except here. Shocker to tell people we want to uh, offers some good tips uh, to give presents or gifts and uh, I think the those um, uh, those I don't remember how to say uh, those suggestions uh, or those advices are, are good for me I think I could uh, use use them when I'll give a, a, a gift to someone. Uh -huh, that's it. I think it is useful. Anybody else? Come on, kids. Tell me, uh, what do you think? Tell us, what's your opinion about this situation of uh, gifts? Well, here we are talking about birthday gifts, but of course, uh, giving gifts is not only for birthday there are many other situations when we give gifts we all like to be given something but as in the video we saw maybe sometime sometimes the moment when you receive the gift could be not as pleasant as it should have been considered before as as should have been expected so Please, please, well, tell us, share your opinion. What do you think about this one? Okay. Uh, I think the birthday is a, a day very important for any, any, any person, any people. But I, in my opinion, I think it's very important to save money. Uh, for me, it's very important, for example, uh, give uh, any cake or chocolate or flowers 
but uh, but but I need uh, save money. Uh -huh, or, that's or, only is my opinion. Is my point of view? No, it's okay. Thank you very much. That's great. Mm -hmm. All right. So, um, anybody else? Okay. Volunteers? Volunteers or victims? Um, can I say something? <laughs> oh yes, of course, Roberto. Please. Well, actually, um, today is the birthday of one of my team members at work. Wow. So, yeah, so I, it was very difficult to determine which present will be the, the best, but you say something before. Um, when it's not only for birthdays, uh, sometimes at work we have the problem for awards because it's not the same, but sometimes some co-workers want or reach some goal and our our company uh, try to give them something maybe a, I don't know a piece of paper with the recognition sometimes I don't know sometimes money but on my personal opinion uh, I I would like to prefer to do or give some money but it's not the best for many people, you know, they consider as the, the guy in the video said, it's like cold, it's like saying, I don't care. I just, you know, doing something because I have to, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. you, you didn't want to take the time for thinking about what to give, mm -hmm. um, something like that, no? But well, yeah. there are opinions, of course. Thank you very much, Roberto. Anybody else? Daisy, what do you think about this issue of giving gifts? It's it's very complicated for me. Uh, to giving gifts is uh, I don't know when you or when I don't know uh, the to the person that I have to to give a gift. It's very complicated. Um, in my personal opinion, I try to uh, don't uh, give uh, gifts. It's better for me to uh, to uh, give money. Yeah, because it's it's too complicated. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like it, sorry. It's, I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you very much, Daisy. Giovanni, you wanted to speak. Talk to us. Giovanni, hello. Okay, hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, um, I'm not sure about the, the rest of my, um, the, the rest of the classmates. The other, is it okay to say yes. that? The rest of the, my classmates. My, my other classmates? Yes, it's okay. Yes, um, um, but I have, uh, I have talked to my mother that uh, I, don't, I don't think that uh, giving money is a, is a, is a Mexican a custom, um, but uh, and for me, um, it's not very polite uh, to reject uh, a present. But I think in modern times, uh, it is practical uh, to give money because we don't know what uh, really. Um, the, the the receiver are expecting to to receive uh, that, well that's my point of view uh, for, for me it is a custom from um, uh, USA or the anglo 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 countries uh, yeah. yes that's uh, what i think Excellent. Thank you very much. So Emma, Emma, don't go. <laughs> Emma has already gone. 
maybe she's having some problems with her internet connection. You know, uh, uh, something I would like to uh, share this with you. Sometimes when um, there are many devices connected at home, you tend to have these problems with the uh, internet signal. Uh, the platform Zoom is so heavy. And so when you are working with Zoom and in your house, maybe there are some people who are connected, maybe uh, your relatives, your uh, children, wife, uh, anybody at home is uh, watching some videos, maybe in Netflix, maybe in YouTube. Uh, of course, they are consuming some, some data and it affects to, to this platform. So that's the moment when the platform is not steady and you are out of the class uh, very frequently. So whenever you are in class, try to uh, ask your family to just for one hour, uh, stop watching videos so that you can have a better sign up and much better connectivity. All right. Well, yes, anybody else who wants to talk about this topic of giving gifts? What's your opinion about the video? No? All right. You know what? I remember that time ago, I had a very, very good friend of mine who wanted to give me a very nice um, birthday gift. She was very uh, sensitive and she thought that giving me a perfume could be a very fine detail. And so she gave me, of course, I really, I really appreciate it. I really thank it. But she gave me a perfume that she thought uh, that would fit very well with my personality. But <laughs> when, I, when I used that perfume, my goodness, it was so sweet that I began to feel like nausea. I was so dizzy and definitely I didn't use <laughs> that. And so when we were watching the video, I really... Uh, remembered that part and one day she told me hey Maggie do you remember the perfume I gave you and I said oh how to forgive it <laughs> and so she <laughs> said do you remember the the name of the perfume and so I did my best but I couldn't remember it I think that she felt a little disappointed about it but Obviously, whenever you use something every day, uh, you remember it pretty well. But no, I, I couldn't remember it. And so that's what I was thinking when we were watching the video. I said, oh, my perfume. <laughs> All right. So have you ever received any present that you really didn't like? What about you, Daisy? Well, yeah, but um, I don't remember. Um, many, many. <laughs> Not only one. <laughs> uh, but uh, maybe uh, float. Yeah. Ah. But, uh, it was not my size. <laughs> but, yeah. My goodness. <laughs> Maybe Come not on. your size, maybe not your yeah. style. Yeah. <laughs> it. Or even not your favorite color. Both. Not my, it was not my size and the color, it, I, I don't like. Oh my, what did you do? <laughs> I, uh, well, I, obviously I, I can't use that so uh, I look for a friend <laughs> uh, and I ask if 
if she likes the that clothes and I give the the the, the, the present. Yeah. Yeah, you gave it to her. Yes. <laughs> yeah, all right. Thank you very much, Daisy. All right. Daisy, who's your victim? Um Roberto. Thank you. Roberto, hello. Hey, um, I'm here. Um, well, um, you know, at work, uh, on my business, I deal with many, many nationalities, people from many countries. So that's a big problem because many factors intervene, even like, like religion, like believing. So it was a very hard time when they gave you something they think something that for them is good is a fancy gift um, i don't know but when you realize you know, that, i don't know um, they are giving something that you don't expect some uh, there was an exchange and um, you know at the end of the year and i gave a, a fancy object and i received a pair of socks. so <laughs> that, from the back time, I pretend to our intent to avoid those, those situations. That's so interesting. You, you have talked about different nationalities. And of course, when we are from different parts of the world, even different parts of the country, we tend to have many differences. And Jesus, sometimes <laughs> the, the things that we give, of course, uh, we give them way, uh, with the hope, expecting that the people would be so pleased. But, but it may happen that uh, it was not something so fancy for the person. Yeah. I uh, prefer to ask, maybe this is the solution. <laughs> yep, yeah, you're right, to be assertive. You know what? I want to give you a nice present, so please give me a direction. Like, no, that's it. All right, thank you. Okay, so uh, what do you think about listening to Juan Bravo? Yeah, would you like to listen to Juan? I would like to ask Juan, as, as he's not Mexican, he lives in Ecuador, I would like to ask him not only the what presents he has received that he didn't like but also what are in in your view in your point of view Juan uh, some very um, traditional gifts in Ecuador Juan hello okay <laughs> yeah uh, depending when the is the birthday uh, any people uh, offer many, for example, shoes, coats, uh, 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 bracelets, for example, but the, the, it's important the, the gift is personalized. Um, but uh, in my case, uh, in my point of view, I don't write any, uh, any gift because the best gift is my life, is my family, uh, is my health. Wow, excellent. Okay. <laughs> That's beautiful. Thank you very much, Juan. Uh, but uh, you know what? You mentioned something that, for example, uh, the gifts have to be personalized. Uh, I didn't understand very well what you meant about uh, personalized gifts. Uh, for example, uh, a bracelet, uh -huh. uh, jewelry, with the name of the person. Yes, or beauty hampers too. Ah, that's it. Hey, that's nice. Okay. All right. Okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So why don't okay. we listen to Gerardo? <laughs> okay. Uh, what do you want to listen? Have you ever received any gift 
that uh, you didn't like very much? Well, I was thinking um, about it, but I really don't remember uh, a bad gift. Mm, uh, I would like to share that in all my life, I didn't get mm, too many gifts. Really, my birthday is uh, 20, 21, December 21. So it's difficult to, 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 well, uh, it was difficult to me to be in or get uh, parties. So I don't really remember a bad gift, but I remember good gifts. Uh, uh, maybe a good sweater with my name, uh, Christmas. Uh, it's called ugly sweater, but I like it so much. And uh, uh, yeah, I just got always uh, money and um, good stuff, but I really don't don't remember a uh, bad gift. Mm -hmm. All right, thank you very much. That's so nice. Okay, so anybody else who's missing? Um, Giovanni has already participated. Juan, Daisy, yeah. Gerardo, Roberto. Yes, I think so. All right, so guess what? Um, I would like to talk to you about this. Of course, gifts are not only birthday gifts. And next Friday, we will be celebrating uh, St. Valentine's Day. And so I think that it is a time people give gifts to many people, not only to their crush, as, as young people uh, used to say now, uh, to their couples, to their love, to their beloved, but also to their friends. What do you think about this uh, celebration? Uh, Daisy, what's your opinion about Valentine's? <laughs> oh, well, mm. <laughs> I, I think it's, it, it's only my of course, it's only my personal opinion, okay? Uh, I think it's um, uh, a day for, uh, um, how do you say, active day, uh, economic? <laughs> I don't know, because all the people are wants to buy something for to uh, give a, a, a gift. But uh, I I don't know I I maybe uh, don't understand the um, the reason uh, for the people have to celebrate a a day for a love and I don't know it's. No, uh, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. All right. Thank you very much. Here, Roberto wrote in the chat, Valentine's Day is for business. Yes, that's it. Gerardo, please, please, please. It yeah. is a hot topic. Well, I think it's a good day because we are every day working and doing something uh, that are not uh, kind of special, so I think it's a great moment to be in a friendship or or giving extra love to to somebody that we love. And I really like chocolate, so I think it's a good day to get one one of those. <laughs> and you know. Uh, 
be with someone and just uh, forget the day to day. And I, I really like the day. Okay, that's it. So if somebody is thinking about what to give to Gerardo, chocolates are perfect. All right? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. All right. Anybody else? Come on, kids. Come on. Opinions. Mm. Hey, teacher. Juan. Yes. Um, San Valentine, San Valentine Day is uh, is very important because I remember the the love is uh, is forever. But in my case, I would like to to write um, a love poem for my wife. Oh. And the title is Endless Love. Hey, that's beautiful. <laughs> I think it's the best uh, gift for my, my wife. Will you In write opinion. Will you write yes. that poem for your wife? Yes, yes. That's romantic. Yes. Hey, the, that's this great. This poem is, is the, the summary of uh, 36, uh, 36 years of marriage. My goodness. Hey, okay. that's beautiful. Congratulations to you. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. <laughs> Excellent. All right. Thank you very much, Juan. Anybody else, kids? Come on. Um, okay. <laughs> Me. Okay, Giovanni. May I? Yes, uh, uh, I studied uh, in my university. Um, uh, social sciences so um, I think uh, my point of view would be um, negative for that day uh, like uh, I think Daisy said it is a day uh, that um, has a economic um, an, an economic objective uh, but I think uh, now, I think uh, it is a, a good day to uh, forget um, that, uh, that things or that moments that maybe uh, made us uh, to, to fight uh, or to... to, to I don't I don't know how how to say this but when we um, choose uh, different uh, ways uh, or because our different points uh, of views and I think it is a good um, um, moment to to get close to those uh, people uh, who we love and maybe we um, maybe we don't need to to buy things but uh, but rather uh, have a an, an special uh, have a special uh, moment or a good detail to 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 other uh, to to that people that we that we love or that people that we don't uh, uh, that are, they are not not very close to to us but i think it is a good moment to 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 make friends i think <laughs> I, I cannot <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I forgot to turn my microphone on. And so I was speaking and speaking. All right, so okay. I have a question. Um, okay, it's St. Valentine's Day, but why St. Valentine? Why not uh, St. Peter, St. Patrick, uh, St. John? Why St. Valentine? Do you know anything about this? No, nope. no. 
No. Pass Saint Valentine. No, anybody? No. no. Well, <laughs> as far as I am concerned, Saint Valentine was a priest. Well, he was not saint, he was priest Valentine, and he was living in Rome. Uh, he defended all the people in love. You know that in the past, and even nowadays in some places, people had the use of marrying uh, people from who, who never knew it to each other, but because of economical uh, interests. For example, I will marry my daughter to the son of a very rich man because, of course, I need money. And so uh, my daughter okay. is a mean for me to uh, be sure, to ensure that we are going to be economically protected. Or maybe okay. my family is very rich. My brother, in my, my, mm, my cousin's family is very rich also. And so, uh, so that we don't lose our fortunes, we marry our children. And so that was a very common use in the past. So St. Valentine, yeah. you say, all right, okay. It's convenient, but what about love? And so he started defending the people in love. And in secret, secretly, he used to marry the one who went to ask for help. And so, of course, uh, parents were not, didn't agree with that. So there were a lot of complaints. And so St. Valentine was killed. And so as he was the only one person in that time who was defending love, okay, people thought that he should be this, the, the symbol, the icon for love and friendship. So that's why it's St. Valentine. Have you heard about this? Never. No, never. <laughs> no? no. Well, I know it's it. It's very interesting. <laughs> yeah, it's a nice. I was looking for information because I have that doubt. I said, why St. Valentine? Was it his birthday or what happened? But no, it was the story. It's so it is so nice. Something similar to what happened in Romeo and Juliet. The priest. Yes. Or Titanic. Or Titanic, yes, <laughs> that's it. Titanic, sorry. <laughs> Titanic, yes. So romantic, it is so nice. All right, uh, so oh. uh, guess what? I want to share something with you. Here you are some phrases that you could use when giving or receiving a present. For example, here we are. Well, this is the gift or this is the present. Uh, you can say, I got you something. I hope you like it. And then you say, thank you very much. You know what? The intonation that you use when saying thank you shows how much you are thankful. So if you say, oh, thank you very much, <laughs> it is not something so polite. So maybe you could say, yeah. thank you so much. And so it is different. So the intention changes. The other way around, yeah. you can say, I have a gift for you. And you can be so surprised and say, oh, that's so kind, you should enough. It means that you really, really appreciate the detail. Another way you could say, okay. Formally, this is not for friends. This is maybe for co-workers, uh, maybe in a business uh, environment. You can say, I'd like to give you this token of for appreciation. And you can, the, the other person may answer, thank you, I'm so honored. Okay. Oh. Wow, so formal. Cool. All right, let's play. Yes. Um, 
I am going to give you a present, all right? Giovanni, I have, I have a gift for you. What do you... Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> oh, that's I'm great. so honored, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. Thank you. All right, so Giovanni, your turn. Uh, 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 Juan Bravo. <laughs> I like to give okay. you this token of our appreciation. Thank you. I am so honored. So honored. Hey, that's it. Very good. Thank you, mm -hmm. Juan. All right. Juan, your turn. Um, Giovanni. Yeah. I have a gift for you. Oh, that's so kind. <laughs> that's so kind you shouldn't have. <laughs> Oh, great. Thank you very much. Okay. okay. Claps for you. It was very good. So, next one. Yeah. <laughs> this one is going to be Daisy. Um, Daisy, um, I got you sometime. I hope you like it. That's so kind. You shouldn't have. Oh, so good. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, Daisy, now it's your turn. Okay, um, I have a gift for you. For, uh, sorry, for who? For who? <laughs> who? For Juan? Yeah. Or for, yes, for Juan? Uh, Okay, yeah, for Juan. Juan, I, I have a gift for you. That's a kind you shouldn't have. Oh, hey, claps for you, very good. All <laughs> right, now it's time for Gerardo and Roberto. Roberto, I got you something. I hope you like it. Thank you very much, I appreciate that. I love you. Oh, so nice. Very good. Okay, Roberto, your turn. Okay, so um, I don't know who is some participate. Um, can you help me, teacher? Who's? Oh, yes, of course. So, Roberto, uh, whoever, because everybody has participated. Okay. Whoever. I mean Benjamin, Benjamin. Benjamin is uh, connecting, I think. Yeah, yeah, guess what? Benjamin doesn't have his microphone active, so I don't think oh. he's listening oh. to you. No, I don't think. Benjamin? Why don't you give something to me? It's going to be my birthday. Okay, oh, teacher, Uber, then I have something for you. Hope you like it. Oh, that's so kind. You shouldn't have. Thank you very much. <laughs> that's it. Hey, that's beautiful. You know what? <clears throat> I would like to tell you something. We are playing. Of course, we are practicing English. We are playing. But didn't you feel something special when the person told you that they have something for you? Yep. You're, you're good acting teacher. Act uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I think that receiving, giving and receiving something, it's not only a good detail, but also motivation. And it is uh, maybe not the fact that you spend a lot of time, <coughs> but uh, it's the, um, the attitude that somebody wants to please you. And that's so motivating. And so, yes, sometimes we think it is just marketing. This is economical movement uh, for making economy flu. And of course it is. But if you see this in another way, in the human way, uh, it is 
necessary sometimes to give something or to receive something. Maybe a small card, maybe yeah. a chocolate, uh, I don't know, a flower, maybe a poem. And so it's beautiful. You know what I would like to share with you? Uh, one of the gifts that Paul McCartney gave to Linda McCartney, uh, his wife, now she's dead. But have you heard that beautiful song of Maybe I'm Amazed by Paul McCartney? What? Sorry? Maybe I'm Amazed. That's the song. Maybe I'm amazed. No. No? It says something mm -hmm. like, Maybe I'm amazed at the way you love me all the time. And maybe I'm afraid at the way I leave you. It's a very beautiful song. But guess what? It was a birthday gift. <coughs> I, I, strongly, I strongly recommend it. Look for it into YouTube. I am going to write the, the title for you. It's maybe I'm amazed. And the author is Paul McCartney. Ah, he's the author. So check it up, the, that song. It's so beautiful. And it was a birthday gift. Oh, yeah. That's it. That's it. Excellent. Okay. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> Maybe I'm afraid at the way I leave you. Wow. Nice song. Yeah, so nice. So nice. All right. Well, you know what? With that beautiful song, I would like to tell you that I really hope that you enjoy of a nice day of love and friendship and that you receive uh, not only chocolate, but also lots of love. And so don't forget that I am waiting for you next class, next Tuesday, same time, same classroom, same day. All right, so have a very beautiful day, uh, a very beautiful week and enjoy your time. Thank you very much. Have Thank a very you, good day. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. See you. See you. Bye. Thank you.